to another vlog. Um, this week is the last week of my exams. I have neurology on Friday. At the same time, I'm doing a meta-analysis and yesterday was one of the most tiring days I've ever felt. Last week was my birthday. I didn't manage to vlog. I was tired. My friends made a surprise party. They were all in my place when I finished ballet. It was a nice day. Um, officially 27. Today I have German lesson. It's Monday. Yesterday I didn't manage to, to talk at all. This will be a weekly vlog. I like weekly vlogs. They keep me coordinated and in a program. So yeah, I'm planning on doing some German now. I have to finish reading some abstracts and then I will study about epilepsy and multiple sclerosis. That's what my program says. I hope I will manage to do all of them. So I will talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> I was on the computer all day long. I was reading out abstracts and I feel like my eyes are gonna pop out of my head. Hello, welcome back. Um, so, one moment. Uh, uh, my style today is impeccable, I know. I'm really tired, obviously, as always. I'm waiting like, I don't know, I'm, I'm so impatiently waiting for Friday when uh, I am finished with exams and I will have 10 days to relax and I'm waiting for those 10 days and I hope I will get to relax. Like, it's a hope, I'm not sure, but it's, it's a hope. The program today is um, the same. I will finish with the abstracts. I'm with 20 left right now and I'm happy. I screened like 1,200 or 300. And then next I will go and study Neurology. I didn't study at all yesterday. Plan today was well, and I have ballet at nine o'clock, and it will be probably the first day that we will wear our point shoes, and I'm super excited about that. So I will keep you up to date, and I hope I will talk to you again tomorrow, today, not tomorrow, today. It's so weird to think that I used to be like when I was eighteen. I was all about, oh, how I look like that, sorry. Yeah. I was all about that neutral aesthetic, that black and white minimalism, why I'm moving, sorry, sorry. So, here. I was all about minimalism and wearing all the black and whites and the beige. And now I want color everywhere, like the fuchsia. I don't know if I pronounce it right. I pronounce it in Greek, so sorry. Uh, this color, though, it has become one of my faves. I, I always loved it, but it didn't match my aesthetic back then. And I, I have a tendency to color these days. Like, I, I love my green couch. I wish that I have, like, a pink wall to contrast that. I love the greens. I love the purples. I love all the vibrant colors. Although I, I always wear, wear white in winter and summer, it's like my go-to. Really interesting to see how when we grow older, our mind changes, our taste changes. We as a whole tend to see things uh, from a different perspective and so nice, yeah. This week was my birthday. I am now 27 years old and studying medicine while my friends are working as pharmacists, most of them. Sometimes this can be really weird, like you feel like you are not doing anything. Well, sometimes like I'm doing, not doing anything. Like I depend on my, partly on my mother. And sometimes, yeah, I feel like I am left behind. I, I don't know. I don't know. It's like random thoughts. I wanted to share them with you. But I, I really enjoy what I'm doing right now. So it doesn't affect me most of the days. Some days it does, like my birthday. So I'm gonna go pick up some books that came in the mail. Yeah, I will continue with my day and I will talk to you later. Yeah. I just got home and 
I have two packages here. It's from uh, Minos Publications. So they sent me two new books. One is uh, from a Greek writer, which has uh, like a really smart story about a girl that she works at a funeral house and she's able to listen to the dead people. She's an ex-radio producer and she, she has a capability to listen to what dead people say to her. And it has like the most beautiful cover here it's by Vicky Morigliani. It's called Black Glitter. I love this. I will probably read this after the book I'm currently reading. This I'm currently reading My Best Friend Darkness, I think. I will check it out later. So the next book that they send me is one of the book talk uh, favorites, as I can see. I'm not really a fantasy fan, but uh, I haven't read any fantasy except from uh, The Witcher. It's The God Killer by Hannah Kanner, Kainer, Kainer, and has this glorious like uh, cover. So thank you very much for the two books. I'm really excited to read this, like I wanted to get into the fantasy world. I want to start reading Akotar with one of my one of my bookstagram friends. This is this will be my first fantasy i think and i'm so excited and from now on says like finishing the with the abstracts have plenty more to go yes yeah! i will study neurology i will get ready and go to ballet the house is a mess i usually don't work with a messy house and i can't stand it but right now i have emptied my desk Still need some emptying right now. Balloons are for my birthday. Sometimes life can be like this. You don't have the time every time to clean up and take care of your house and your place, but it's okay. <laughs> It's Wednesday. Uh, my last exam was cancelled. Finally going to clean up this place. It's... I, I, I don't know how I can explain that. It's a mess. It hasn't been clean for like two weeks. <laughs> it's my time to shine and make this place perfect. Today I'm making the place. I'm cleaning, finally. Sometimes life can be messy. Your house can be messy. It can be always perfect. My blouse is is inside out okay like doesn't really matter all that matters is that you are okay doing things that are beneficial for you and your mental health and your physical health so start with the cleaning There is nothing more liberating than cleaning your apartment and you can tell me otherwise I just finished like I spent two hours or three hours cleaning and now I feel perfect like my whole mood has changed and I have I am more eager to study and do the less the, the works that I have to do it's the best feeling yeah I just dropped by to say that so yeah I will talk to you later <laughs> Thursday. It was an easy day for me. The last lesson was postponed, maybe for June, I don't know. I had uh, all the time for me today to do everything that needed to be done. So I woke up in a good time, like I wasn't forced to wake up early. My day since then is simple. I just went to the supermarket, got something to eat, 
got a hair mask, German now. So I will go out for sushi tonight. I love sushi and I'm looking forward to it. So I will get ready now. It's in three hours, but I like to be ready like early. I have already showered, so I will fix my hair. I will straighten them. I will put on some makeup and then I will probably relax. Take some things from, for German. I, I don't know. I'll see.